Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, turn on two-step verification. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to appleid.apple.com. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and say click on Manage Your Apple ID. And we're going to type in a username and our password. Click Sign In. Okay, now we're going to move over here to password and security. We're going to answer the two questions that it asks. Okay, now we're ready. We're, we're signed in. We're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and turn on two-step verification. And basically, two-step verification is just an additional security measure to prevent anyone from accessing your account. It doesn't really matter. Even if they have the password, they can still not get into your account. What's going to happen is you're going to enter in your password, your username and password. You're going to receive a code on your phone, and then you're going to enter that code onto the computer. So it actually works quite well. You'll, you'll see here in a second. We're going to go through the whole process. And if you lose your phone or your device that you have that, that code given to, you're also going to have a recovery key. So we're going to go ahead and press continue. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically see that it doesn't matter whether someone else knows your security questions. It doesn't matter whether or not they have your password or you forgot your password. That doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and be able to get into the system. Okay. And um, just go ahead and read over these a little bit. Make sure you understand them. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and app, add a phone number. We're going to go ahead and click there and we're going to type in our phone number for our uh, cell phone. This does not have to be an iOS device. This can be any phone whatsoever as long as it accepts M uh, SMS. As you can see, I received a text message and there's the code 4041. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enter that on my computer and press verify. Officially, I am verified. I am good to go. If I want to, I can set up other devices. I must, to set up the other devices, you must be inside, on the phone, inside settings, inside iCloud, and then you must scroll all the way down and you must have Find My iPhone turned on for that particular account. And what I recommend that you do is write it down on a piece of paper. And my, my paper of preference is 1Password. I suggest that you just go ahead and put it inside there and then save it. And the reason being is that you can refer, re refer to it again down the road. Okay, once you have the code typed in correctly, you will get this little message over here saying that it is basically good to go. And then you can go ahead and click here to confirm. And then what you can do is you just read over this one more time just to make sure you understand everything. And then what you do, just click right here and click in uh, I understand. And then come down here and click on enable two-step verification. Now you have officially enabled two-step verification. You are done. You're good to go. Now what we could do is we can go ahead and test it. And, and how we're going to test it, we're going to test it very simply. This is what we're going to do is we're going to run over real quick to iCloud. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to iCloud to test it. We're going to enter in our username and password, and then we're going to go ahead and press enter. And you can see by the top of this uh, browser right here, it is asking for us to uh, verify it. And if uh, once again, you can see that everything is locked out. So we're going to go ahead and verify. And this is the only number that we can verify it with. So we're going to go ahead and say next. And we are going to receive a code on our phone text message and there it is there's the new the new number and these numbers are one time use only so it doesn't matter if you remember it it doesn't matter what the deal is just don't even worry about it you know it, it's just 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 don't who cares it doesn't even matter just something to think about okay well then i i hope that uh, answers some of your questions on how everything works like that and uh, have a good day